Hey everyone, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up Professional Development. With what's going on in the world right now with COVID-19 and many kids staying at home and parents and teachers trying to figure out how to not only teach kids at home if you've never done that before, but potentially teach kids online if you are an educator, I wanted to share some of the free resources that you can use if you have an internet connected device and internet. Which by the way, if you do not, many internet service providers are providing free or reduced cost for internet to help with uh, kids continuing to learn at home or parents being able to work from home. If you navigate to our website at bootuppd.org, you'll find a curriculum tab that has the free resources that I'm about to walk through. So the first set of resources is for grades K through two. So this is for early and pre-readers. Right now, we have over 50 projects that allow kids to create some interesting projects in a free app called Scratch Junior. Now, in our Scratch tab for grades three and above, which these resources have been used in middle school, high school, and even some undergraduate classes, you'll find 40 projects at the moment that use the free um, platform Scratch, which is a web-based platform but can also be downloaded on most devices. Now, when you click on one of the lesson plans, for this, what we recommend doing is start at the very beginning, first of all, if you're new to this. So maybe click on the lesson plan for Animate Your Name. So this will open up a document. Now, the thing that you're likely going to want to do is just go straight to the project sequence and click on Project Work. This will tell you how to get started with creating the project itself. On the left-hand side are some uh, walkthroughs of what I would have said when working with a student or working with a class. And on the right-hand side are some extra resources. For example, explaining what the difference is between two different types of locks. So parents and teachers, I'd recommend starting here with the lesson plans if you're going to be teaching this actively to your kids and go to the project sequence. If, however, you are working with kids remotely or want to be able to give them some resources that they can work on independently, we'd recommend starting with the first project and clicking on Coder Resources and then working through these sequentially. When you click on the Coder Resources, it takes you to a document like this. In the project sequence, when you click on any one of these steps, it will take you to a resource. For example, when you click on Add Color Effects, it takes you to this document. And inside of here, there is a video where I walk through how to add color effects in this particular project. And then underneath that is a slide that demonstrates the stuff that I talk about in the video itself. Now, if you are an educator who is trying to teach online, what I do recommend is actually going to our professional development tab and click on the resources. On there, you'll find a bunch of stuff like our podcast that unpacks some pedagogies and things you can use with your classrooms. For example, the episode that released this morning, it actually talks about some suggestions for teaching online. And that's just coincidence because we happened to record that a, a couple weeks ago. And there are some more lessons and resources down here, like unplugged resources. Now, if you are looking for more stuff, there are more organizations who are sharing things like Amazon Future Engineer, Code.org, Khan Academy, CS for All, and CS Unplugged. I'll include some links to those in the description below. I hope you all stay safe, and I hope these resources that are 100% free to use are useful for you and the kids that live with you or that you work with online. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.